What's going on YouTube? Here I have my everyday carry items. I want to show you why these are a must-have item for your EDC. So up first I have a Benchmade Griptilian. This is a full-size knife in my eyes. The blade length is about three and a half inches and the overall is about eight inches. And one reason why I like this full-size knife is you get a full grasp on your hand. I have really big hands and you have this big meaty blade versus something like a two and a half inch blade. Yes, a knife's better than no knife, but you could see how I can't get my pinky around this. And the blade length, just in comparison, look at the size of it. So for prying applications, I feel like a bigger blade is better. For cutting blade length, I feel like uh, no questions asked on that and in a defensive tactic I feel like having a full-size knife is better than having a smaller knife and you might say well your Leatherman has a knife but it's not as fast deploying as I would like it to be while this one is faster so <clears throat> I recommend for people who want to carry a EDC knife to get a full-size knife the next EDC item is a Streamlight MicroStream USB. So I would definitely recommend a rechargeable flashlight just so you're not, you know, changing out batteries all the time. And there's plenty of ways you can keep this thing charged. You know, I only have to charge this thing maybe once or every other month to keep this thing up to par. So why I like this, I find it more convenient to pull out than your cell phone flashlight. Here's high, so on high this flashlight lasts about an hour and a half, and on low, which you halfway depress it, it lasts three hours, so I feel like that's perfect, way better performance than a ba battery powered flashlight. And this does have a pocket clip and a hat clip, which I find useful. Now I don't always wear a flashlight on my hat, so I do wish I could wear it on my shirt to illuminate maybe a dark room or something in that nature and have my hands free. Uh, another thing to think about, this flashlight's not too uh, bright and it's not too dim. I feel like it's perfect for EDC. This tool's about $30. And for $30, it's well made and well put together. One thing to take note of as well is when you fly, flash a light through a window that's high powered, sometimes that light can be blinding to yourself and actually hinder your ability to look through the window. Up next, I have a writing utensil. This is a Milwaukee Inks All Sharpie. There's nothing too special about it. I just tend to pick them up every time I need one instead of buying a whole pack at maybe something like Walmart. But I feel like, you know, in case you need to write something down, this is perfect. And depending on what you're writing on, this puts a bold, dark line on it. So if you have to write on something like, let's say, lumber, that's where a pen would kind of fail in. So I would also like maybe a two-in-one. That would be perfect. So a pen, you know, good for a quick signature if you're doing, let's say, cashing a check or something in that nature or need to take a quick note. And that's where I feel like your cell phone would probably be a better place to use a notepad or use as a notepad. So that's why I would recommend the Sharpie over this pen. Here I have a Leatherman. This originally cost $130 on their website and I bought this for $67 at a pawn shop. It was basically brand new and I definitely love this and I feel like it's a great tool. Some people love carrying the Nipex Cobras but realistically how often are you using these in your everyday life? I would say if you work construction and you carry these, sure. Or if you're a guy that likes to fix everything on site, then sure. But me personally, I'm not tightening bolts down every day. So I definitely recommend 
the needle nose pliers of a Leatherman instead. <clears throat> and I say that because sometimes you're dealing with maybe you need to remove a staple or something small like that. Yes, the Nipex Cobra can do that, but I also find this needle nose pliers able to fix a lot more things than something like this. So that's why I recommend this. This is a good quality pair of Leatherman. Something like the Skeletool, you know, isn't up to par. I've broken two of them. So here you got the needle nose, pliers, wire cutters, and wire crimpers. Not that I'm going to use that every day, but it's good to have them in this form factor instead of carrying a whole bunch of different tools. So here you have a knife, and I don't usually use this knife too often. I usually go with my pocket knife. Here I have the other two, two tools on this side. So here is a flathead plus a pry bar and a Phillips with a can opener. And all these are magnetic and lock open. So I definitely love that all the tools are locking. You know, some multi-tools don't have a locking feature for the knife and that can be pretty dangerous of cutting yourself. Here are the pair of scissors. They work great for a multi-tool scissors. I've cut paper, cardboard, and zip ties with them and they function just fine. Here's a file plus a flathead. And sometimes it is handy to have a file in your pocket when you're trying to fit things in different places. A flathead plus a wire stripper. An awl plus a flathead. And on the very back here is a can opener. So I definitely find this a very useful tool to carry on you. You might not need it all the time, but this has 19 tools in a small form factor. This thing is pretty heavy for a multi-tool. I believe it's about 7.8 ounces or something in that nature. But you can see on this side, these tools are going to be used more often, which is a Phillips flathead and a knife. So I love the feature that it's thicker on these tools than on these. <clears throat> Once again, I love pocket clips, so I'll clip this in my fifth pocket because sometimes I find this a little heavy bouncing around on my pocket. And I'll usually carry these three in one pocket, this in the other. So a bunch of functionality between these tools. In here, this I don't carry every day, but this is a small trauma kit or, and I do have a tourniquet, a SWAT T tourniquet, some quick clot bandages, and I keep this in my car in case of an emergency. You know, you never know what's gonna happen in your day-to-day -day life. And I love being prepared in the fact that I have a chance to save someone's life than to just be helpless and not know what to do. So I would definitely recommend people at least getting a tourniquet. And you could always carry this SWAT T tourniquet in your back pocket, in your back pocket because it's very slim, it's in a seal, and you can use it for you know multiple things. Here you can see you can wrap it around uh, you know wounds. So here tourniquet, elastic wrap, and a presser direction pressure dressing so look into these they're very you know unique and i find them very functional but thanks for watching this everyday carry must have video and i'll see you guys later